Hello guys, this is Pavel Oskorov from Laravel Daily Team and YouTube channel Laravel Business and topic of the day is a quick review of a package by Kayla Porzio called Onboard. It's quite an old package, three years ago it was created, but I was recommended uh, on Twitter by someone to, well, they asked me to review it, so I'm here reviewing it. And first I found out that that doesn't work by default, so I made a pull request, but anyway, one step at a time. So the package is for onboarding new users for your application and for example, in my demo, for this. For example, you would have a list of events that would happen for any user to be onboarded, like fully, fully created their profile. And in my case, it's a quick application for adding events. So event number one that is expected would be adding first event and then second event and if uh, both are okay, successful, then there's no warning uh, shown there. So something like that. And installation is pretty simple. You just install the package, uh, register service providers, which is probably not required in 5.5 Laravel. And then this is the main thing. So in app service provider, in boot method, you add everything, all the onboarding steps that you actually need. Uh, in my case, it is this one. So this is the error that wasn't working. Actually, I've made a pull request, so documentation says on board, but it actually should be on board facade. So anyway, um, so with on board facade, you add a step, step name, then link where should be the link to that. So this is, this one here will be the link, uh, then link text, call to action, CTA for short, and then complete if. So that step would be considered completed if this is true. So in my case, user events is a relationship in user model events. User has many events by column created by ID. And if there is at least one event, then that is completed. Similar to the second step where the only difference is count of uh, events is more than one. So let's try it out. I've logged in as totally fresh user and I see both of them. And if I add an event here, oh, actually I will show you the blade file. The blade file is an index blade, it extends layout admin, and admin is this. So this is the main part, uh, which is exactly, almost exactly as is written in documentation. So documentation is this. Uh, I've changed some bits and pieces to make it more pleasant. And instead of facade auth user, I like to uh, use auth user like this one, but pretty similar. So if if onboarding is still in progress, which means at least one step is not finished, then we show a warning. And then for each of the steps, if step is complete, then we do strike through line and italic font. Uh, otherwise, it's shown as a simple link. So this is the result of zero steps completed. And if we uh, add some concert as event, then we save, and then this should be line through, struck out, as you can see. So the first step is actually considered completed because there is first event completed by that user. And if we add a second event, I don't know, sport, something. We click save. And as you can see, this is hidden. So hidden means that this is false. Onboarding is not in progress anymore and you don't need to take care of any of the steps. So basically, let's say a simple package if you have your application users and you want to get them onboarded with some simple messaging or warning or pop-ups or whatever to get them profile completed. If you want more videos like this, subscribe to the channel Laravel Business and hit the bell button to see the notifications. See you guys in other videos.